Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day or Singles Awareness Day or whatever you are doing on today. So today to celebrate the made up holiday that companies want you to buy stuff, I thought I'd share my top five ships that I just keep shipping because they break in my heart, whatever. I um, got this idea off Tasha who from Tarshopolis who did the sort of same thing so I give credit for that and with all that in mind let's get started my top four, fifth ship is of course if you've been on my channel Lord of the Rare and Elizabeth from the book Lord of the Rare by Chrisley Cole and how do I explain just the sheer awesomeness of this couple it is just old vampire who thinks that he's sort of had every trick and then Elizabeth comes in and she's got like this goddess trap inside of her that Lothar's trying to get out so he can be his bride and it's just the way that she sort of tricks him and like just outplays him that it just it's so good and the tender moments between them like there's this one moment between them when Elizabeth is like, you're going to rip her out of me tomorrow, aren't you? And he's like, yes. And then he actually comforts her as she realises what's going to happen. And it's just like, it's just, oh, breaking my heart. And I love these two. And I've, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but that ending, Cresley, that it, I don't know what to think about the ending. I mean, yes, I'm happy about the ending, but just the way that you ended the book was just fantabulous and nah. <sighs> they just the ship that I just keep on shipping and I love all the fan art and it oh just I need more. I need a novella of Lothra and Elizabeth and I need it now. My top fourth ship is actually a non canon ship. It is Harry and Hermione from Harry Potter. Now I have not read the books of read book one, part of book one, but the movies, like Daniel and Emma had such chemistry, I think, that it would have worked, and Harry and Hermione, they've been there for each other, and it, it I just, I ship them so much, I ship Harry and Hermione, it's all I'm going to say, because I know I'm going to get like a lot of hate or a lot of flack for that. But I just, they're my non, one of my non can ships. I just, I ship them so much. And there is a really good, decent amount of fan fiction that it, that does this pairing really well, which really makes them ship them more. So Harry and Hermione from Harry Potter. My number three ship is Tamaki and Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club. And if you have not seen Orin High School Host Club or have not read Orin High School Host Club, what are you doing? Orin High School Host Club is the quintessential sort of makes fun of the tropes and somehow it works series. It is so funny and so well done that it can go from hilarious to like drama filled and it just it flows perfectly. And Tamaki and Haruhi. I just, oh, like, Tamaki thinks that he feels paternal, like fatherly feelings for Haruhi, which he really feels like love, and he can't distinguish that, and then Haruhi is like just oblivious to his feelings, and it's just this, oh, it's, it's perfect, and then in, when they go to Boston in the manga, and it's just, it's just beautiful, but I kept, I shipped them throughout the entire show, and it, oh my god, Caitlin and Vic, also I felt the way that they voiced them, they did have a good chemistry, so props to the voice actors for acting that out, but oh my god, like, just, that ship is one of the ones that will just frustrate you, but it'll also be like, oh, she's oblivious and he's confused, they go together. My number two ship is actually a most recent ship and is Ezra and Katie from Illuminae, which is written by Jay Kristoff 
and Amy Kaufman. And if you've read Illuminae, you know what I'm talking about. The way that Amy and Jay decided to do this romance was beautiful. I loved how they broke up, the terrorists attacked their planet, they're on these ships, and the majority of their logs are what went wrong in their relationship. That is hilarious and just something that I feel needs to be more done in books. Because the way that they communicate about what went wrong, what they should have done better, what he could have done to her, what she could have done to him, it makes me ship them all more because you see that they still have feelings for each other, but they put, they're mature enough, especially when everything is going around in the book, to actually discuss their failed re of relationship. And that in itself is really rare in books and I really give props to Jay and Amy for doing that. And I just, I ship them and he, like Ezra is so funny and so witty and so hot and Katie's like this badass and they just, they just go together. And at the end of the book, I won't spoil it, but if those of you who've read Illuminate, you know what I'm talking about, that ending, that ending, that, that was oh, perfect. Five out of five for the ending alone. And I just, I shipped them so much. Like, they break, they broke my heart, but then they mended my heart back together, and then they broke it again. It was so beautiful and so well done. And rare, which is great. And now for my top ship that I just keep on shipping. And this is my top ship. Like, of all my ships, this one is at the top. And it is re and Kira from the manga Mars and this ship the amount of shit that they're put through to come out as they do in the end of it oh my god just to give you some background she was sexually assaulted by her stepfather and so she doesn't trust men because of that he is reeling from his twin brother's suicide and just, uh, 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 like, she's like an artist and he's sort of the cool player. And then you just delve into these layers of their personality. And it's just real. Like, they feel like real people. And they get into the relationship early on in the manga. I think it's volume two that they actually get into a relationship. And the majority of it is them trying to deal with all the psychological scars that both of them have developed because of their circumstances and it is done beautifully the circumstances aren't treated as a plot device more like some real trauma and they start to realize that love the love between them is what keeping them afloat there are scenes that are held out for dramatic effect but they it works it just works like I cannot explain to you the roller coaster of emotions I've felt with this couple. Like I felt happy and then I felt sad and then I felt confused and then I felt broken and then I felt happy again. And at the end of it, when I when they get that sort of happy ending that you want for them, but you know that there is gonna be more pain to come, it's just mmm, it's so good. And I frequently go back to this manga and reread it because it is one of the most well done depictions of two broken people coming together as one and sorting through some deep seated issues that is treated respectfully. And I wish more people would read it because it is just good. I just, I just, I ship them so much and it, I wish I could buy like all the volumes, but it's it's like really rare to find them and I can't afford the shipping from Amazon. But oh just oh I mm, mm, ah. They're breaking my heart and I like it. I like the pain. <sighs> so that's my top five ships that I just keep on shipping. And let me know in the com comments down below your top five ships that you keep on shipping, whether it be TV, movies, you know, books, manga, anime, whatever. Just let me know down in the comments 
and don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video. And follow me on social media if you feel so inclined. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.